Hey, thanks for checking out my video today, guys. In today's video, I wanna go over four really cool Nintendo Switch accessories that you could print on your 3D printer uh, to basically enhance your uh, playing experience while playing Nintendo Switch. So um, I thought we'd uh, I'd just print up a couple things, see what I get, and then just make one video to cover them all rather than cutting this up into four or five different videos. So, all right, let's get started. So uh, the first thing that I, uh, printed here was the uh, Joy-Con knuckles. Now, basically it's just a plastic, um, you know, like a brass knuckle, you know, like type of uh, handle that goes onto your Nintendo Switch and uh, onto your Joy-Cons. And actually, uh, this would be fantastic for when the game ARMS comes out, where you're gonna be fighting and punching a lot. Uh, something like this would, uh, you know, work very well just to make sure that you can hold on to your joy cons you're not dropping them throwing them anything like that so uh, not not to mention that it kind of looks like brass knuckles so uh there you go i don't advise you doing trying to you know fight someone with these or hit somebody with them or anything like that so um just a little uh precautionary uh, thing there so um second on my list is the actual um zelda logo and as you can see here, I printed this in uh, wood PLA, so it actually has a, a, a lot of uh, wood properties to it. It feels very light, and it has a wood um, feel to it, you know. Um, now there's crystals that were uh, printed in red PLA, and I just glued them on there. But basically what this does, this is really cool. Um, what this does is it is a Joy-Con holder. So uh, what you do is you take your Joy-Cons and you just slide them in here. Just like that. And there you go. You have the Zelda um, Joy-Con, you know, holder there. Uh, and I like this actually better than the one that came with the uh, Nintendo Switch initially. That one's a lot closer together, so your hands are a lot closer. This one's spaced a lot better, so as you can see here, um, my, my hands are farther apart, and it actually feels a lot more comfortable. Not to mention that the uh, on the insides of the Z is nice and rounded, and it has like a, a textured feel to it, so it's a lot more comfortable, and it feels very natural like that. So uh, there you go. That's... Uh, it's the next one on the list. Now, number three is a pretty cool um, one that I found. I don't know how much need you're gonna, you know, find how many useful, you know, applications that you're gonna find with something like this. I just thought that these were pretty cool and thought that I'd print them out and show you guys. So uh, this is the Nintendo Switch Blade. Now, what this is is a. Um, this again is printed in wood PLA, and then I used a. Um, a gray PLA for the top and basically I printed it in two pieces uh, and basically it just the blade actually slides into the top just like that and there you go so what you do with these is you actually want to take your Joy-Con wrist straps and you want to slide them onto your controllers and I don't know if you can tell but I did modify mine my Joy-Con wrist straps um, so that they actually slide on and off really easy. That locking mechanism has been removed completely. So uh, they work so much better like this. If you want to know how I, how I modified these, uh, I did make a video on how to do it. I'll try and post a link in the description. Uh, but anyway, so once you have your, um, your wrist straps onto your Joy-Cons, you basically just slide them in there just like that. And uh, they just sit there just like that. And uh, there you go. You have your uh, Joy-Con if you're playing certain games. Um, you might find a use for these. I, again, I don't know how useful they're going to be. Um, and certainly if you're playing a game like arms or something like that, you want to be really careful that you're not stabbing someone with these because uh, it's not very sharp, but there is a tip on here. And I would imagine that you could probably do damage to someone if you did hit them. So be very careful uh, with these if you're a parent. Uh, maybe think twice about printing these off for your kids because again, they could hurt somebody. So just be very careful with that. Okay, so uh, last but not least, um, we have the uh, Joy, -Car, I'm sorry, the Nintendo Switch uh, stand. Now this is more of a travel type of uh, charge stand. Uh, this one's really cool as uh, you see, I have the charge cable in there. It's sitting on the desk and it's charging my Switch right now. 
So um, what these are are just little plastic things that slide right into the sides where your Joy-Cons normally go. And um, you can see it's just uh, real thin plastic and it has like a notch, you know, here so that it can slide into the Joy-Con rails. The cool thing about these things is that they're very portable. Uh, you can put these into your travel case. Um, into your you know whatever you you know have your console sitting in and uh, take them with you so that's what makes these things really cool if you need to charge your console while you're on the go um, you just slide these onto the rails and you're charging in no time so um, I, I thought these were a great addition to it so there you guys go there's four accessories that um, I, I think are pretty cool for your Nintendo Switch. Now, three of them are highly useful. This one I just thought was kind of cool, so I printed it out, but other than that, there you go. Um, if I get 100 likes on this video, I will uh, send somebody whatever one of these they pick or want. Um, so there you go, leave a like and comment down below if you're interested in being uh, entered into that raffle. Now, I'm just gonna pick someone randomly. I don't care what the comment says. It could be negative or I hate your guts or whatever. Leave a like. Once I hit 100, I'll pick someone from the comments and I uh, will uh, send you a message and get your address and then um, send this out to you. So there you guys go. If you learned anything cool today um, or anything new today, please, if you could, Leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.